Welcome back to our channel, where we inspire and empower you to live your best life. With summer just around the corner, it's the perfect time to focus on getting fit and staying hydrated. The hot weather can take a toll on our bodies, but with the right tips and tricks, we can beat the heat and look and feel our best. In this video, I'm going to share with you my top tips for getting fit and staying hydrated this summer. Importance of Staying Hydrated Before we dive into how to get fit this summer, let's talk about why it's so important to stay hydrated. When we're dehydrated, our bodies don't function as well as they should. We feel tired, sluggish, and our skin can look dull and dry. But when we're properly hydrated, our bodies can perform at their best. We feel more energized, our skin looks radiant, and we're better able to handle the summer heat. So how much water should you be drinking? It's recommended that we drink at least 8 to 10 glasses of water a day. But during the summer months, we may need even more than that, especially if we're spending time outdoors in the heat. One tip is to always carry a water bottle with you and take sips throughout the day. You can also add some flavor to your water with a squeeze of lemon or lime to make it more enjoyable to drink. Eating for fitness Now let's talk about getting fit this summer. One of the most important things you can do is to focus on eating a healthy, balanced diet. This means incorporating plenty of fruits and vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats into your meals. Aim to eat a rainbow of colors to ensure you're getting a variety of nutrients. One thing to keep in mind is that your diet should support your fitness goals. If you're looking to build muscle, for example, you'll need to eat more protein. If you're trying to lose weight, you'll need to focus on eating fewer calories than you're burning. It's also important to fuel your body before and after a workout with the right foods. Carbohydrates can give you energy before a workout, while protein can help repair and rebuild muscle after a workout. Moving your body Of course, eating well is only one part of the equation when it comes to getting fit. You also need to move your body. The summer months provide the perfect opportunity to get outside and try new forms of exercise. Whether it's going for a run, swimming, or taking a yoga class outdoors, there are plenty of ways to get your heart rate up and work up a sweat. But exercise doesn't have to be a chore. Find something you enjoy doing and it won't feel like work. Maybe it's dancing or hiking or playing a sport with friends. The key is to make movement a part of your daily routine. Even if it's just going for a walk after dinner, every little bit helps. Staying motivated We all know that getting fit takes hard work and dedication. But sometimes, it can be tough to stay motivated, especially when the weather gets hot and we'd rather be lounging by the pool. One tip is to set small, achievable goals for yourself. Maybe it's committing to working out for 30 minutes a day or trying a new healthy recipe each week. Another way to stay motivated is to find a workout buddy or join a fitness group. Having someone to hold you accountable and cheer you on can make a huge difference. And finally, don't forget to celebrate your successes along the way. Whether it's fitting into a pair of jeans that didn't used to fit or running a milestone distance, take the time to acknowledge your hard work and be proud of yourself. Remember, getting fit is a journey, and it's important to enjoy the process along the way. Rest and Recovery While it's important to stay active and push ourselves to reach our fitness goals, it's equally important to prioritize rest and recovery. Rest days are essential for allowing our muscles to recover and preventing burnout. Make sure to schedule in rest days throughout the week and use that time to stretch, do some light yoga, or take a leisurely walk. 
It's also important to listen to your body and give it what it needs. If you're feeling tired or sore, take a break from intense exercise and focus on restorative activities like meditation or gentle stretching. And don't forget about the importance of sleep. Aim to get at least 7 to 8 hours of sleep each night to allow your body to recover and recharge. Mindset and Self-Care Last but not least, let's talk about mindset and self-care. Getting fit isn't just about physical health, it's also about mental health. Our mindset can have a big impact on our ability to achieve our goals. So, make sure to focus on positive self-talk and give yourself grace and patience along the way. Self-care is also an important part of any fitness routine. Take the time to do things that make you feel good, whether that's taking a relaxing bath, getting a massage, or simply reading a good book. And don't forget to prioritize mental health activities like meditation, journaling, or talking to a therapist if needed. Remember, getting fit and staying hydrated is not just a short-term goal, it's a long-term investment in your health and well-being. By making healthy choices now, you're setting yourself up for a lifetime of benefits. Think about how much better you'll feel with more energy, improved mental clarity, and a stronger, more capable body. And think about the positive impact you can have on those around you, whether it's your family, friends, or even strangers who are inspired by your journey. The road to fitness and hydration is not always easy. There will be days when you don't feel like working out or drinking water, but it's important to remember why you started in the first place. Keep your why at the forefront of your mind, and let that be your motivation to keep going. And remember, progress is not always linear. There may be times when you hit a plateau or experience setbacks. But these challenges are opportunities to learn and grow. Use them as a chance to reassess your goals and make adjustments as needed. Finally, I want to emphasize the importance of self-compassion and self-love throughout your fitness journey. It's easy to get caught up in comparisons or negative self-talk, but remember that you are worthy and capable just as you are. Celebrate your progress and achievements, no matter how small they may seem. So, let's continue to take action towards our fitness and hydration goals, but let's do it with kindness, patience, and self-love. You are capable of achieving great things, and your health and wellness are worth prioritizing. Keep pushing forward, and remember that you are not alone on this journey. We're all in this together, supporting and encouraging each other along the way. I want to leave you with this thought, your health and wellness are your greatest assets. Without them, it's difficult to enjoy all the other aspects of life that bring us joy and fulfillment. So let's make taking care of ourselves a top priority, not just during the summer, but all year round. Let's make healthy choices a habit, and let's inspire those around us to do the same. Together, we can create a culture of wellness and positivity, and make the world a healthier, happier place. Thank you for joining me on this journey, and I can't wait to see all the amazing things you'll achieve. Don't be afraid to try new things and step outside your comfort zone. Maybe it's trying a new workout routine, experimenting with healthy recipes, or challenging yourself to drink even more water. Embrace the discomfort and trust in your ability to handle it. That's where the real growth happens. And remember, your journey is unique to you. Don't compare yourself to others or measure your progress based on someone else's standards. Celebrate your own milestones and victories, no matter how small they may seem. So keep pushing forward with determination and a positive mindset. Remember that you are capable of achieving anything you set your mind to, and that every step you take towards your goals is a step towards a healthier, happier you. Keep striving towards your best self and inspire others to do the same. Subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos.